Good to go. Alright. Alright, um, you going back to the target or are you going to go to the studio? Uh, what do you think, man? I think we're pretty close. You think we can get results on the I think we should get results on, on the that studio. studio. Should yeah. be good. I got my little dope card. And where, where is your steel at? What's that? Where's the steel at? 200. 200? Mm -hmm. 191? Close enough. So we'll do first BBC on that. It's 191. We're relatively close. Get the ass in there. So aim a hair higher on my second BBC reticle mark. This thing will not feed. Probably the, uh, the tip of the hammer, but those are the cool. Yeah, they're right? yeah. Yeah, it's the tip it's, of the it's, hammer. It's lead point. So some hunting rifles lend themselves better to others at hunting or uh, excuse me, feeding lead point. This one has always hated it. Now you put foam metal jackets through it. It's just all day long. Fun either way. Alright. Bring it in. Alright, go to 300. Going to go to 300. That's your green second target. BDC I've got. Let's see what we can do. So on my uh, on my dope, it's according to Nikon, it's 277 with this green bullet. So I'm going to aim just a hair high. That's going to be the second yellow, or orange rather, or is that going to be, no, that's going to be the black green. target. Yeah, green, right to the right of it. Okay. Three, two. And now we're off to the right about uh, half a target. Half a target? Yeah, the elevation was good. Okay. I'm just going to start, uh. A lot of issues out of the magazine with these rounds. But that's okay. Not a Nemo or anything like that. It's certainly not an M24. Probably because I just got married and it's been so long since I shot. I'm pretty much talking junk about myself right now. Is uh, I was picking up my head every time I got off off the shot. So gotta stay on that scope. Yep. Yep. Back to basics. That's what happens. You get married and you start working on a house and you forget the basics. Yep. So you uh, your 400 is yellow. Straight to the right again. That one I find to be a little more harder because it's behind all that grass out there. This is where I'm Anything that you did on that, uh, on that one, I would just aim up maybe. Now, is that the yellow? And to me, it looks like to the right of a hundred. Yeah, it's right. It's to the, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's to the right, but where the green was, maybe 50 yards to the right. Okay. What do we got for four? 351 on the third. So I'm gonna have to aim for a headshot and maybe yeah. get center mass. Because keep in mind, this is a this isn't a VDC with a
Station Stadia. This is a BDC with a circle. So mm -hmm. this is technically not a, a, what you would call an applied deer hunting scope. This would be more akin to predator hunting okay. on the move shots. What I do, I'll um, see if I can find a picture of it and insert yeah. it up. Yeah, it's, I mean, you can, you can find them all over the place. But on my third... 351, so we'll go with the headshot, maybe hit the belly button. Yeah, yeah, I think that's how it's going to go. center so I was right I was right in the head box yeah, yeah you, you're walking out like that 500 shouldn't have any problem okay 450 that's my fourth that's that's I'm not out of options there but that's my second to last BDC on it for this particular scope so that 500 is gonna max you out I'm gonna probably have to aim a basketball overhead mm -hmm. because my next is gonna be 539 okay yeah. and that'll be at the post which is you have your crosshair mm -hmm. a circle 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 pretty close in rock and then you have what i just shot which was a circle that's lowest and then you have where the stadia like pretty much gets bigger the, yeah. cro the crosshair gets bigger and that's post Okay. Is what Nikon calls it. Uh, oh man, the, uh, the wind is starting to pick up a little bit now. I'll aim. I'll, I'll Kentucky it a little bit. I'll yeah. aim. I'll aim like one target left, mm -hmm. and just see what I can do. Yeah, I think uh, that, that that thirty out six. It's got some good. Uh, got some really good terminal. Mm -hmm. Um, that the five hundred is blue, and the last one out there is red six ten. I um, only one I ever hit that with was. Spike and the star is the only one I can get out to that far away, but okay. if, you, well, if you're doing that good with that, you should be all right. Because I'll try it, and that, that farthest is 610, that's all the way to the back left? Yeah, it is. I'll try it just for fun. I mean, heck, we're out here. This is well. Yeah, well, you already see, you already see got what happens. Already. <laughs> it's not going to hurt anything yeah. at this point. So, yeah, full magnification. I'm going to go... My fourth BDC is 450. So I'll aim a basketball overhead on the five, and the five is blue. Also, it's blue. Okay. And is that the uh, half size or the full size? I would do the full size on first. Okay. Yeah. They're the next to each did. other. Huh? They're next to each other. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. gonna find hilarious is that I haven't shot this rifle in two years and I sure as shit did not clean it before I put it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did not see where that one went in. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be in the trees every time. I'll try it a few times. I brought one box, so well, two boxes. I got two boxes of 180s. Two different manufacturers, so who knows what's hotter than the other? Yeah, it could very well be. I'm on it. I'm take your time, do whatever you want to do, and get out there. Really wish I had my sock right now. Okay, you want a target low and a target 
to the right. Target low and a target to the right. Yep. So and I went for the head that time. Oh yeah, you definitely have to come up some more. So, so it seems like these Winchesters, they're only meant for killing deer, folks. <laughs> Why is he too hot? <laughs> but seems like the Winchesters, they lack a little bit on the backfield. It's, it's a lot of heat. That's a thin barrel, too, so... It yeah, it, yeah it could be whipping like crazy. Yeah. Um, but still, at 400 yards with a hunting rifle... Low <laughs> tier, by the way. Like, yeah. low tier. <laughs> I think this thing was 200 and change. It came with the crappy scope, and the only reason I spent money on the scope is because one day I had my Nikon binoculars, and I had the crap scope that came with it. And I could see the deer with my Nikon optics. I went up to take the shot. It was low light situation yeah. in the evening. Couldn't see you. Brown blur of trees and grass and deer. So I never tried to make the shot, but the next day I had this. And this isn't even like a good scope, so just lets you know. Go to the range and practice a little bit. You can right as rain. Okay. So you said I was a target yeah, low target and a target, target right. right. I'm going to hold left shoulder and about two basketballs above the head. I literally seen the vapor trail come from it. You saw it? Yeah. Okay. So, kind of where we're maxing out this scope, because I feel like if I click it one left, it's going to be way off. I will leave it just as is and just try to go off of the, the, the rest I think of we'll just, and this is the great big old difference between a, what you might call a tactical scope and a scope meant for just shooting deer. Because the wind keeps picking up like it does. It's, it's gusting. I think the wind may have caught that last one before and then we made the adjustment. It sailed over the left shoulder or the right shoulder. But the elevation was good. The elevation was good. Okay. So what I think I'll do is I was on the left shoulder. I might try to hold like a foot-ish off of the left shoulder mm -hmm. and just, I mean, just see. I mean, hell, I got yeah, it's calm right now. No wind is blowing Seven more down rounds right in this box. And, and now it's, it's, so it's doing a little intermittent, intermittent gusting. Now it's back gusting again. Well, it's consistent left to right, so I think I might hold a foot and a half off. Well, that's pretty damn good down range. I'm going to go for it. Okay. Basically in a giant hole where there's nothing but standing pines around us, so I, I can see why. Alright, good enough for me. Out the 400 because I couldn't, I couldn't even get my oh, it's a hunk of, it's a hunk of shit. Like, do not, do not take this as 770. Let me take the chassis and get a Boyd stock. Don't do this. This is the unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> this is the unicorn. Don't do it. This is just for me being confident shooting deer at 200. No more. Yeah. And, and very first time going out the range like that as well, too. So, yeah, especially getting hits like that. Uh, it, it, that's insane. Yeah.
I'm super, like, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed. And I feel like it's mostly luck, but uh, uh, maybe, not, maybe, not, you, should, maybe you should try to walk it out with a mag and see what happens. Yeah. All right. Try it again. That's good. That one surprised me. I couldn't see where that one went at either. I thought I heard a smack. You might, uh, I'll be honest with you. I thought I heard a smack it might on have, that it one. Might I might have just hit a tree down there or something, but you, uh, I don't know if the blue lights up. I'm not sure if that one lights up. I could, I, hell, none of them lit up. I was about to say you said something about about yeah, they light yeah. up. Yeah, All I heard was up. dings. They light up. None of them lit up. I just seen the, the big puff of uh, smoke come from them. Well, the barrel getting kind of hot. I'm pretty toasty. Yeah. You can touch it, but it kind of hurts to touch it. I would. I let a lot of powder going through that thing. Yeah. Maybe I we should. Cool down some. Let's set this one to the side. Let's revisit it later. Yeah, I'll let it cool but down and come back. It's probably, it. if you had super slow mo, it's probably doing one of these right here. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> yeah. Set it to the side. Have, um, where you can uh, adjust the, 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 the Parallax? Yeah, yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going at 500. All right. You got no wind down there. Well, it just hit the... In the center, I got hot. <laughs> foot, foot high, foot left. God bless Kentucky and all their windages. <laughs> I'm going for six next. Oh, dude. Oh, baby. You're, you're, you're. You might, you might get closer to the front of the safe when I get yeah. home. <laughs> First time distance shooting. First time with this hunk of shit. Running from 770. Oh hell yeah. Two hundred and forty, what, whatever, however, how much, sub three hundred dollars, <laughs> and some half-ass decent Nikon glass on it. Hey, all you need is a that's freaking awesome. Hey. All right, hand loaded. We're going out six hundred. Indigents seem to be good. I'm gonna hold left side of the target just for the win. I don't think it's pushing that big bastard around too much, but I'll do it anyway. All right. Briar out. It's freaking awesome. Love it. Can you see that? Uh, I see the flag. What? Can you see the 600? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Left shoulder. <laughs> Post at the head. Impact, dead center. You see it, it, it lit up good too. It lit up. I see, is that what was on the right shoulder? Is the little thing? Yep. I was like, that wasn't there before. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it Christmas day out of this cheap hunk of shit, man. I'm telling you what, dude. People need to quit, uh, quit sleeping on Nikon. Everybody's, everybody's all got a hard dick for loophole nowadays, yeah, man. It just doesn't have a stadium around for that but still, man. <laughs> see, and see, it helps. It helps when you get on their website. Even this hunk of shit right here. All I did was free float the barrel, and then I printed out the dope card. Yeah. And Nikon will give you the dope. And uh, who was that that tried to? Lunker. Huh? Lunkers tried to do that. It's insane. <laughs> it was Walmart gun. Fucking <laughs> Walmart, dude. <laughs> and I exact hold. I, that's that lowest most stadia. 
Let me see if I can line it up. I should be able to see through it if I zoom in correctly. I'm on six right there. see through it with this. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. Yep, I got it. Take it for a walk, dude. I suck with bolt guns. Telling you horribly. Nikon dope. You go on to their website. Now, I don't know if they still do it, but for their pro staffs, you put in what brand, your uh, green weight bullet, mm. and this is what I printed out. And I put it on there with a piece of Paskin tape. You gotta drink your cold beer. When you're done, lube it up, throw it back in your gun, you're good. That's holding really good zero then because I was aiming a little bit high for some cushion mm. and I was aiming right here. Yeah, so it is, it is well, that's good. Shit. If we get some good wind, I might actually be able to stretch this thing out at six if I can see that little tiny speck out there. Uh, so, yep. Which one are you going to? Uh, I'm going to try five for okay. funsies. We shall, it should be able to see the flash out there. If it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rely on you because the mag on this is so low. Okay. I'm gonna do center mass on five. Maybe favorite a little bit less. Pretty center mass. I held, I held pretty much left shoulder at my 600 stadia. Yeah. 